installation of NAV 2013 in um, 2008 server is a pretty simple process. This one is going to show the demo installed in here. This computer is a 64-bit version. That's the only thing you can get with 2008 uh, server. But that's a requirement for the service tier to actually uh, run properly uh, or to install. So um, I'll go ahead and I have to download a DVD here. I'll extract uh, that DVD. This one is a beta version of uh, 2013 that uh, is being installed in here. But the beta version is uh, really fully functional. It's, uh, not anything in here that is not working. So I will have to click next. I will accept uh, the license terms and then I will simply install uh, the demo up here. It warns me that I don't have Outlook installed and that's because it's going to do the Outlook add-in um, but it won't be installed because I don't have Outlook on this computer. Else it's uh, very simple. It's one of those next, next, next uh, and uh, it will now do the installation process. First it installs some .NET components, then it will install a SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition and um, that will be uh, then used for installing a demo database and uh, NAV component. It also installs several Visual Studio components but that's for report viewer and uh, similar things. During this installation, it's going to install some new pieces in .NET framework, so it's important afterwards to go run the Windows update to get all the most current Windows updates for those components. Especially if installing the web client afterwards, it's important that the Windows update has been run between installing the demo setup and running the web uh, client install. The SharePoint client that is also going to be installed in this Windows 2008 computer can only be installed in Windows 2008 because the SharePoint Foundation uh, is not intended to be installed in Windows 7 so a 2008 computer is uh, required for using the SharePoint integration or the SharePoint client for NAV. The .NET component now finished installing and uh, it's now installing the SQL Server 2008 R2. It now finished the installing the SQL Server. Now it's installing miscellaneous components and this one is a much shorter process. That at the end it will install the NAV and the demo database. client component is a rotor client and what used to be the classic client that is now called the development environment they're all now in the same folder so you only have one that is actually the rotor client and then the fin.sql is in there where you actually will have uh, your rotor client also in the same folder it's a sample database and uh, that should be the last pieces of uh, this install. Just to verify it's important here to look at the error report because uh, sometimes it errors out in the middle especially if too little memory is available during the install uh, but it installed fine except the Outlook add-in and that's uh, perfect so if I now go take a look I'll have my NAV 2013 client in here and uh, this one is NAV 2013. The major difference visually is uh, that it is now uh, more a ribbon style menus up here 
than compared to menus that was used in earlier version. Now there's no menus at all in here, but else everything looks uh, very similar and functions very similar. There's some changes in the database because it's now using Unicode, but that's uh, a totally different story in here. But else everything is pretty much the same. I can create sales orders, it's the same flow. There's a lot of nice functions added in here also. Um, but the installation is uh, now done. If I want to look at the classic client in here, it's not called the classic client any longer. It's called the development environment. But it also look very similar. So I can open up a database. And that's a demo database I just installed. And it goes directly to the object designer. I can go to open up a company. But there is no menu suite, there's nothing out here. So the only options in here is actually create databases and companies and work with those parts. And then the backup and of course the whole development experience out here. So, but else it's uh, pretty much the same. The only thing that is not in here right now is the components for actually using um, or editing the layout on the reports. But else NAV 2013 has now been installed with the standard uh, setup in here.